Okay guys, Bloxburg updated. They updated, oh my gosh. Okay, I just woke up. I'm recording this in my Airbnb bathroom. Hopefully nobody in this house hears me. Who knows? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> um, um, intro. Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. Bloxburg has updated and once again, I'm still on vacation. I'm at an Airbnb and I'm recording this in the bathroom and my microphone is, um, don't question it, it's like one of those microphones that you clip onto your shirt, except I'm actually holding it because if I put it on my shirt, I'm gonna sound like this. Anyway, yes, they updated today. Um, I think they're, why didn't I check the update log? Let's check the update log. It's been a while since Bloxburg has updated and these past few updates, as you guys know, have been, uh, you know, not the biggest. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Okay, let's see. So this is version 0.12.9. The latest Bloxburg update has just dropped, bringing the great outdoors right to your doorstep. Whether you're a seasoned camper or just craving a taste of nature, our new items are here to give you a full camping experience. So grab your gear, gather your friends, and get ready to create amazing memories under the Bloxburg stars. It's 6 a.m. by the way, I'm recording this. So they added camping themed objects and decoration, added camping themed food, Food, added a new material and caught some bugs with the new bug catching net. What? Wait, wait, there's bug catching? Let's go into build mode. Let's go into build mode C. Build new. All right, so we have a few things here. So the first thing I have is a spruce tree. It's a vital part of a scenic woodland and evergreen touch to your garden landscaping and all you need to invoke the feeling of Christmas all year around. Can be resize a skill tool. Oh, wait, that looks so nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, fancy. Okay, I would like to look at it better, but I'm actually like holding the microphone in one hand and using the mouse in my other. So the next thing I have is a bug catching net. Ever looked at a butterfly and wished you could capture its beauty? Who needs a camera when you have a bug net? Now you just need to actually catch it. It can be surprisingly elusive. I'm gonna put it right there. That's perfect. Okay, that's our bug catching net. We're gonna do some animal, this is some animal crossing right here. All right, the next thing you have is a pile of chopped wood logs. A pile of chopped wood logs that easily stored next to your fireplace for quick access during cold evenings. It's not rescalable, but that's fine. That's great. Who needs giant wood logs? Okay, the next thing you have is a campfire, a grill rack. While a big and fancy barbecue might give you a perfect, give you the perfect sear, it's not exactly the most portable. This grill rack comes pre-installed with an open fire, takes up virtually no room, and gives you a priceless wilderness experience and no extra charge. Can you hear an echo, by the way? Um, no, that's the bathroom. Oh, wait, that looks so cool. So it's just basically the fire, it's just like a fire pit with this like grill rack over it. Okay, right, cool. And the next thing we have is floor ivy. Greenery should exist in all dimensions, so give your floors a bit of extra greening with this floor ivy. Can be resized. Oh, ooh, okay. That looks great. That looks nice. Wait, that could be really useful. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to start landscaping again. Okay, the next thing I have is a fern plant. Fern plants are not only beautiful, but have some air purifying qualities. There's no reason to not put at least a couple of these in your home. Okay, oh fern. Oh, this is what we saw in the teaser. Okay, well, I didn't do a video about the yesterday's teaser, I think, but there was a teaser of an outhouse and these little plants were in the corners. And then we also have a field of fireflies. A group of fireflies on a warm summer night can feel almost magical and now you can bring that experience to your own garden. <gasps> oh, I see. So it's, it comes in a little box, but when you place it, it's like, obviously it looks like that. Wait, that's so cool. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm putting a bunch of those around, why not? I was always so curious how this would work in build mode, but that is, that's perfect. Wow, ain't that pretty? Look at it. <gasps> okay, now we have a birch tree. Birch trees typically grow in temperate and boreal climates, but now you can buy one and put it wherever you like. I'm not gonna say the rescale part, but yes, a birch tree, guys. We have a new tree to decorate with. I knew it, a birch tree. Look at that, that's beautiful. We need more landscaping anyways, so this would help out a lot. I can put it anywhere. You're gonna see this everywhere on my plots. Don't, don't be surprised. This and the spruce tree. All right, and the last thing in build, in the build category is a field of flowers. Yes, finally. This is something that I've been wanting for a while. I'm sure many other people obviously as well, but I wanted this for a while so that way landscaping could be a little bit more easier for me. This was also in the teaser. Um, I called it a flower bed. And you know what? I feel like it could be 
it, it's not wrong, right? Technically, it's like a flower. I don't know, maybe it is. But there you go, field of flowers. Lovely. I mean, I guess you can make a flower bed out of it, but. All right, so those are everything in build. Let's go to decorate new. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's even more stuff. Okay, actually, not too many, but. Let's go here. My Myso My Misco Misco Oxen Camping Shower Tent. Misco Misco Oxen Miscoxen Miscoxen. <laughs> Sorry if I'm messing up this um, pronunciation. I was never um, good at it. All right, it's easy to get dirty when running around and exploring the wilderness, and access to a private shower is no guarantee. Luckily, this camping shower tent gives you both cleanliness and privacy. Okay. Well, we have a shower tent, guys. Nice. I've been always wondering how we could shower in the wilderness. And this is the way we're going to shower out here. Oh, we have a thermos! <gasps> Miss Mike. Okay, I'm just gonna say the camping thermos. I'm not even gonna say the brand name or keep yourself warm in the wilderness with a hot drink from the sleek camping thermos. All right, we're gonna put it down right there. I'm just gonna zoom in in editing. All right. <gasps> Ooh, an outhouse. Okay, this outdoor toilet is the perfect solution for any property that lacks a connection to the sewage system. With this cute little outhouse, you get, you get total privacy and compared to a bush, it's a lot less thorny. Okay, outhouse guys, this is from the teaser and it's a 350 <laughs> block bucks item. Oh, I bet some people are unhappy about this. I'm just kidding. Okay, that's an interesting. They made this a block. I mean, it's probably very luxury. I'm gonna, we're gonna check that out in a little bit. We're gonna check that out. We're gonna, there's some kids' binoculars. Your kids' first binoculars. They work just like an adult size version, but come in a more playful and kid friendly package. Okay, I'll place that one here. And then they have regular size binoculars. See far and wide with these fun binoculars and must have for hikes, camping trips, and secret spy missions. <gasps> we have a camping cot. If you need something to dry and comfortable to take a rest on, that's also easy to carry. The camping cot is perfect for you. Can you actually carry this? <gasps> we have a camping cot with a sleeping bag too. Hey, nothing ruins a camping trip faster than having to put your sleeping bag directly on a cold, wet, and rough ground. Luckily for you, with this very affordable camping cot, you never have to worry about being uncomfortable ever again. Okay, we're just gonna place both of those down here. All right, next we have is a camping grill. Once again, I'm not even gonna say this. I think it's a brand name. I'm gonna say it. Misco, Misco Oxen, Muskoxen. This sleek grill from well-renowned outdoor brand is all you need for your camping spot. The small size makes it very practical, but it'll still cook your food as well as a neat bigger grill. Right, they're taunting me now. They're putting the brand name in the description. Okay, we'll put the grill there. That's a new, that's an interesting looking, that's an interesting looking grill. Okay, <gasps> we have some lights here. Portable electric zapper lantern. A portable version of the electric bug zapper. Easy to bring along on a camping or fishing trip when you're hoping not to be bugged. Very funny. Okay, so there's that. And then we also have a mounted one. So they made it in the style of like one of these outdoor lamps. So this is what it looks like. We saw the field of fireflies. Oh, there's a jar of fireflies. The light from firefly blocks is incredibly cozy and now you can bring a jar full of it into your home or tent. So this acts like just a light source, like a candle, I guess you could call it. It acts you know, like a candle, but if you aren't a fan of lights, then fireflies. I wonder if they die in the jar if you leave them too long. <laughs> so the next thing we have is a modern sleeping bag. Oh, it's a set. Okay, I already read that description. So you have a modern kid's sleeping bag and a modern sleeping bag. All right, we'll just place these on the floor. Okay, so we have a trail comfort. When going on new hiking adventures, it's always good to be prepared with a proper and modern tent with a trail comfort S9 double tent. You can survive almost any weather thrown at you. Oh, they have the child tent, I knew it. They had to separate it. And so it's a child and a regular sized tent. You can't rescale it, right? I'm not gonna read the descriptions, but here's the child size tent and here is the regular tent. It's a double tent. Ooh, those look cool. So we'll see more of it in the actual game. All right, oh, there's a direction sign, the set. A wooden sign post to show visitors the directions to all the important locations on your plot. So plane and a just a direction sign, okay. So this is like one with no words on it, I'm assuming. There's no words. And then this one has some words. Nosy neighbor, Astro Block his lab, Tom's summer place, Boomer's lost firework, and Susan's house. Does this actually show? Look at that. Okay, that's those are great names. Those are great names. Um, next thing is a natural log bench, straight from the forest and perfectly imperfect. Become one with nature and decorate your garden with this natural log bench. Oh my gosh, I actually like how detailed. I mean, you're probably like, what do you mean detailed? It's pretty detailed. Like, yeah, it looks like a wood log that you can sit on. Okay, great input. Okay, well, that's everything in build mode. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna switch your hand here. Let's go ahead and take a look 
at all of these items. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is it possible to just clip you onto a lotion, my moisturizer? <gasps> I am so handy. Hold on. Hold on. I'm putting and <laughs> wait. This is so funny. Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture of this. Hopefully this is perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh, the camping cot. <gasps> Here's what it looks like. You just sleep on it. Yeah, you just lay on it like a bed. A camping cot with a sleeping bag on it and you just sleep inside. Nice. And then here's a lantern. You can actually hold it if you don't like bugs. It's a bug zapper. I think you can pick this up too. <gasps> the jar of fireflies. This could act like a flashlight too. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. I actually want to like go through this at nighttime, like 7 p.m. And then over here. <gasps> oh my gosh. With the campfire grill, you can roast marshmallows as usual. You can roast a hot dog and roast bread. I'm going to roast some bread or hot dog. Oops. There's, you don't have to do any skill checks. Okay, cool. This is a, probably the fastest way to make a hot dog in the game ever, right? Like grilling a hot dog in the game takes a bit longer. All right, let's roast some bread. We already know what roasting a marshmallow looks like, so let's do the bread. What kind of bread is that? That looks like a marshmallow. Are you lying to me, game? Are you lying to me? This is not bread. Is this bread? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, it is. It's like, it is bread. It looks like marshmallows. Okay, let's just try marshmallows just because this is not new. Why am I doing this? Look at that delicious morsel. All right, let's continue exploring. So wood fire log, can't mess with that. I want to go bug catching, guys. Okay, I'm gonna sleep on this floor here. Can I catch these? Oh, I can't. Here's the shower. Oh my gosh, the shower tent thingy. That's so cool. Like there's a bag of water right here that the shower, shower connects to, the actual shower head connects to. That's really... That's lovely. And then here's the outhouse over here, which I'm gonna make a video on um, building a house into. I'm sure many other people are gonna build a house inside of a porta potty or an outhouse. So don't be surprised if a bunch of people do it. Just don't. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and make a house out of it. This is gonna be fun. Ooh, this could be the best tiny house ever. That'd be great, can't wait. But yeah, look at this luxurious outhouse. It's got toilet paper, towels, toilet paper itself, and some shelving. Like this is actually pretty pretty luxury and a carpet. And yeah, obviously you can open and close the thing and sit it, sit in it. Nice, and here are the camping tents. So if you're an adult or you're a teenager or older, you can't sleep in this tent. You just can't, yeah. But if you're in the double tent, of course you can sleep in this. And once you sleep in it, it closes up. I think you can actually close these like blinds or whatever. You can't like shield yourself. So that's everything. Oh, here's the bed. Just a regular bed. Now what we're gonna do is do some bug catching. I'm kind of curious. So we're gonna grab a net and cast it. I'm gonna just go out here in the street. Are there actual bugs to catch or something? What if there's like actual bugs to catch? Huh? So I'm assuming if they, oh wait, there's a new material. Oh my gosh, I forgot about it. How did I, I always end up forgetting this. There's a new material in the game, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and put down a decorative wall here and see what that is, material. Ooh, <gasps> birch, that's the new material, guys. Okay, cool, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So you can have birch walls if you like now. This is what it looks like. Cool, birch, birch texture, guys, birch texture. Oh, let's go to the campgrounds. Okay, so I'm assuming if we got a camping update, maybe they updated the campgrounds if possible. There was a teaser, once again, of, I think Tom, I think Tom was walking through the campsite, I don't know. Or maybe that was custom built. We're about to see. <gasps> Wait, it is updated. The campgrounds are updated. Let's see the new trees. I see the trees, guys. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here is the camping grounds. So as you walk down the trail here, the path. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it looks so much better. It looks so much better. With the new tents and some of the old ones, of course. <gasps> What is this? Oh, it's a picnic blanket, I think. So yeah, it's they kept the old tents and the new ones, of course. That's nice. And then they also have a little trampoline and a tree with the tire swing on it. Oh my gosh, wait, it's so much better. I'm still looking for bugs to catch. These ones catchable. Can I catch these firefly? But yeah, there's a picnic table with an umbrella on it. It's very nice. It just, the campgrounds just looks so much better. Actually though, this is like quite of a, not a big map update, but they did pretty much revamp the campsite. So look at that. Oh, there's so much to see here. But yeah, there's just a lot of tents, a lot of picnic tables, picnic blankets, and like more landscaping, which is what this place needed. It was so boring before. It's a lot less boring now. There's even thermos here. 
I'd even use the thermos. Okay, oops. And there's also trash cans. Talk about not littering. That's good. And then of course they have the outhouse itself all the way back over here. So if you want, you could use this one. I'm gonna spend my day here. What is this? A casual bug must be nearby. Oh, <gasps> okay, your bug senses are tingling. What does that mean? Okay, so if a bug is nearby, this will pop up. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, there's a bug right here. Right here, I'm gonna catch it. 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 We're gonna start swinging. Start swinging. Oh, <gasps> what? What? Butterfly display common new item added to your inventory? I'm gonna take a picture of that. Oh my gosh. What? You can catch bugs. Whoa. Wait, this is so cool. There doesn't seem to be any catchable bugs nearby. Okay, I gotta keep running around. So eventually if you just keep running around, it'll turn blue. You'll see this up here and then you'll be able to find a bug. Wait, this is so cool. I'm actually so, that's actually so fun. I'm gonna do this all day. A new activity. But yeah, anyways guys, this is the campsite. Here's a better view of it from the free camera. In case I missed something, I don't know. We saw the outhouse, we saw the main campgrounds. There's some pretty light, pretty cool. I'm actually really glad they updated. I'm sure some, I'm sure many people are happy about it. Is it enough though? That's the question. Is it enough? How often do bugs spawn? That's kind of my curiosity is like, how often am I going to be able to find them? Catching them, that was fun. I actually really like that. I like that a lot. It's a new activity and it gives you something to like collect. So if you're like a collector, this would be great. There should be like a bug journal or something. That'd be so fun. Bug net. But yes. And of course, it's in the backpack, so if you need to buy it and unlock it for wherever you go, then do that. There's also the binoculars that you can buy too. You can buy these. Okay. So you can have them on hand. Whenever. Oh, there's a bug nearby. There's a bug. Oh my gosh, it's right there. It's right there. I'm gonna catch it. Catch it! Catch it! Oh! I got a new bug. Wait, there's one right there. One right here. Wait, what is that? Hold on. Catch it. 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 I got another one. <gasps> dragonfly. I got a dragonfly. Apparently it's a legendary. What? This butterfly is a legendary? I just caught a rare bug. Oh my gosh. So Boomer's Fireworks tent is gone. No more fireworks. No more summer festival with the food. Dis I'm assuming we kept the food. Um... And I think that's it. There's no more area over there. All right, town is back to normal, as in plain. Nothing special out here, but the campgrounds are updated, and you know what? Not gonna, not gonna complain about that. Okay, now we take a look at these bugs that I caught. I want to take a look. Build mode. So they're in inventory. <gasps> wow. So there's like different rarities of the bugs that you can catch. I caught a legendary, guys. I caught a legendary. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's put this down. Does it move inside? Oh. <gasps> It flutters. I think that's the word. It flutters. Okay, so there's one. Here's another, the legendary bu bug. And then we also have the common number one, a dragonfly. So I caught three different things technically, if you think about it, y'all. Yeah, that here is a better look at those. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is so cool. Here's a better look. So yeah, this one's glowing. This butterfly is legendary. And then I have a regular butterfly right here. And then a dragonfly. That is disgusting. I hate. I do not like bugs. The butterflies are pretty. I think they're really scary. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's nice. Obviously, I could catch more bugs, but um, that's it for this update video, guys. That is, I believe, pretty much it. Hopefully, the audio doesn't actually end up sounding so bad. Once again, I'm using one of those clip-on microphones. And I'm recording in a bathroom, if you're noticing the echo in an Airbnb at 6 a.m. hoping to not wake somebody up. Obviously, I'm missing out more bugs that I can catch, but I'll do a video on catching bugs probably. But thank you guys so much for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!